Dun, dun, dun. And we're live. There we go. Welcome. Hello, everyone. Hope we're all doing well. Let's just sort out some tabs. And then my phone goes. Now live on your channel. No shit, YouTube. I press live. You dumbass. Right. I'm just going to set up the uh, TV so I can see that screen on the TV. And then uh, I'll shall be with you all. HDMI 1. Thank you very much. Yay, there we go. Now I can see a duplicate of the screen on this screen. There we go. Welcome, everyone. Finks, Jay, welcome. Kev, revoked. Uh, <clears throat> looking forward to this. Thank you, Phil. Um, film it. Uh, Jay Bully. Dan, welcome, mate. Haven't seen you for a while. How's it going, mate? Ryan, welcome. Kev, am I ready for Christmas dinner? Sort of. I uh, think I've still got to get some gammon. Um, yeah, just gammon. I've got pork and chicken. Uh, yeah, nearly ready. Oh, Christmas dinner. Ooh, Christmas dinner. Yay. Yes, mate. Got me some mince pies. We're snacking on them tonight. Ah, welcome, everyone. Thanks for the help today, Dakota. What help, mate? <laughs> what help? <laughs> I've been in London, mate. What's on the repair list for tonight? I'm not sure yet. There's loads to do. Series X, maybe? Uh... Philly Bob, welcome. Hello, Andrew. Topcat, Stephen, Jason. Uh, who we got? Nick. GC Brain. We meet again. No, you did it wrong. It's. I've been expecting you, Mr. Bond. Is this a straight face? Perfect actor. Perfect actor. Well, I must be an actor because I, I, I pretend to like Jason every day, so, yeah. There you go. <laughs> Never mind. Anyway. <laughs> exactly. I've been in friggin' London, you twat features. <laughs> now, how's it going, Jason? And Jonathan, welcome. Uh, I love mince pies. And me, mate. Howdy, Nux. Welcome. Hate mince pies. Yeah, mince pies are very... Uh, Controversial, isn't they? Oh, I love them, so I'm going to be eating them tonight. Danny? You said French fry. You send French fry. Where's the pussycat? The cat won't come up here. She's too scared. And Paul, welcome. Thank you, Kevin. I appreciate that, mate. Thank you, buddy. Answer my question there. Well, ask the question, then. Did you message me? I ain't been on Facebook, mate. I came home and I went to sleep. So, yeah. Let's have a look what Jason's put on Facebook. I'm assuming he's messaged me on Facebook. So, let's have a look. Right, Messenger. Ah. Uh, uh. Jason, can I have some nude pics? No! You're not having no nude pics, no. No. Told you before, and I'll tell you again, I'm not sending you nude pics. Stop asking. <laughs> Jason said, hey, do you need upload or download speed to play games on servers? Download speed, mate. Uh, actually, it depends if you're the host. If you're the host. You technically need both, because it still sends a little bit of data to give like your position on the map and stuff like that. But if you're not the host of the server, then mainly download mainly download uh, I think it was about 15 I've picked up today mate to be honest I think <laughs> told you I'm a good actor you don't believe me anyway 
There's websites for that. <laughs> George, welcome. Yeah, I'm good, thank you, Jonathan, mate. I hope you're well. Uh, cameo in one of my movies as a technician. <laughs> yeah, I'm on Twitch as well, yeah. What's up, dirtbag? Mr. Kevin, don't let me stamp all over your boards, you toss bag. <laughs> Danny, Danny will get a ban before the end of the night. Uh, Google gave me five different answers. It depends. I mean, if, yeah, if you're the host of the server, then you do technically need a bit of upload, but not that much, really. Um, even still, it's really negligible. Uh, uh, welcome to everyone anyway. Let's unbox some gifts. So, I received a full home security system from a company, which I'll be doing a video on. So, that came today. Uh, that includes a house alarm and carbon monoxide and smoke alarms. I sent it all for free, so I'll do a video when I install it. But it'll, it'll probably be after Christmas. But, we've got something else as well. Um... So, we have a new trinocular microscope of Tim. Timmy! Better move my phone before I dock someone. People will try and call me just to see if it docks them. Timmy! Timmy sent me some gifts. So, Timmy has sent me a trinocular microscope. He said this was the first microscope that he ever bought, so I've got to look after it. You know for a fact it's going to be covered in flux in the next week, don't you? Like like this one, look. I'll give it a week and I guarantee there's flux and all sorts over it, look. Just like that one. Now, I'll look after it. <laughs> I'll clean it and look after it. Uh, yeah, so Timmy has sent me a new microscope head. A camera. Don't know what the quality of this camera is, not sure, but uh, I shall give it a whirl. Uh, yeah, so a new microscope head, a camera, and a brand new digital multimeter, EOTech. So yeah, massive thank you to um, Timmy, I really appreciate it. Really, really appreciate it. Don't worry if I dox myself. And uh, this was pretty funny. So you know the Amazon thing? The six-digit code? <laughs> My address is public, don't worry. Check that out. No six-digit code needed. That made me laugh. <laughs> oh, dear. Nice little haul. Indeed. Yeah, so massive thank you, Timo. I really appreciate it. Cheap ass tech, welcome, Mr. Daniel. How are you all too, Dan? You coming down for a, a natter and a coffee tomorrow, mate? Dan's my brother in law, by the way. Yeah, so we're going to be giving this a little whirl. Uh, nice little haul, yeah. That's not flux, Phil. Stop waiting. Send me your old one. Um. I ain't got a... My old one isn't a trinocular, mate. It's, um... What do you call it? But I don't know yet if my nephew wants it, to be honest. I don't know yet if my nephew wants it. What was my first computer to fix? Uh, consoles, it was a PS4, mate. Consoles would have been a PS4. Blue Light of Death PS4, actually. Turned out that the guy had just put it back together and got the prongs stuck on the, um... In between the one power supply thing. I'll try after work. Oh, shoot, yeah, you're at work, yeah. Yeah, so we're going to give this a try. But, yeah, I don't know if my nephew wants this, but I do have another microscope. Not, um... It's not a what you call it. Um, it's not a try knock or anything. Bob Love Limited sent me this, which I've been... Trial running for the past few days. Bob Love, Tom Love, Tom Love, Bob Love, <laughs> Tom Love sent me this. 
<laughs> Whoops, sorry. Um, yeah, Tom Lobb sent me this. It's, uh, funnily enough, battery-powered microscope. Uh, battery or USB-powered microscope. It's actually pretty good. Uh, I've got to do a review video on it. But, yeah. No wires, obviously. Ah, the battery's gone dead. Damn it. Well, that sucks. <laughs> Uh, let me see if I can plug this into anything. Do 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 do. Let's plug this into something. Uh, yeah, so Tom Love sent me this. Um, and basically, I need to do a review. I've been trying running it, so I am doing. I am giving it a a good proper test before I. Um, before I actually do a video on it. I do feel a bit bad because I've had it for a couple of months, to be honest. I've had this for a couple of months and I've not got learned to do it. <sighs> right, here's a nice extension. There we go. And boom. Okay, turn on then. There we go. Oh, you have to hold the power button. All right, never mind. Um, damn it. No, I didn't want my storage. Damn it. Well, well, at least has got power. I just had to hold it. Never mind. Uh, yeah, so. There you go. Um... And you've got your focus there, blah, blah, blah. And then you've got, if I get a board, do, 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 do. So I'll give this away because this is definitely not for me. It's definitely not for me. So, yeah, it's actually fairly easy to use, though. So I'm going to give this away to someone once I've fully trialed it. Um, yeah, I didn't do a very good job of soldering uh, M92, though, on that. Yeah, no worries, Phil. I'll see what he's doing, mate. But I say multimeter is pretty good for so far. Which one, mate? This one or the one that I use normally? Bob Love is a cooler company name. <laughs> it is a bit. Actually, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure the actual company name is Bob Love. I, I, I could be wrong, but let me just check. Yeah, it is. It's Bob Love Limited, and then the and then the camera's called Tom Love. This is like hundred and twenty pound on Amazon or something. Uh, but they sent it me for free, and I've got it, I'm giving it a fair shot. So I'm I'm getting to the, getting through the video slowly. How are you going to auction it off? I'm going to just um, get people to comment on the video, the review video, same as I usually do. And then just pick it randomly on a live stream. Um, bad job, boyfriend love. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I, I can never generally get um, get used to um, LCD based um, microscopes. So yeah, I'm going to be looking at that. <clears throat> I'm going. I am, like I said, giving it a fair trial run before I actually give it final thoughts and stuff. I've started recording the video. I do feel a little bit bad because I haven't actually got around to doing it and I've had it for a couple of months. Probably about three months actually. So hey Twitch chat. Uh who are you talking about there uh Kev Kevin Goodlad Yeah so we've got this Got this microscope. I'll try and set this up in a minute. Uh, we've got this multimeter as well. It looks kind of fancy. Yeah, I'll just make people comment with the keyword and then um, I'll say make. That sounds like you've got to do it. No, that's not true. Um, yeah, I'll get people to comment on a video and then um, 
and then I'll just basically, um, yeah, pick it randomly from there. Good luck getting an Xbox mobile under there. Uh, yeah, I, I think I mentioned that in the video. It's a bit small. I would have liked to have been able to, but then again, you can 3D print a mount, I suppose. LCD is the only way to go. Some people can use them, I can't. Right, so this is, I don't know what half of this stuff means on the back of here. Um, yeah, there it is. That's all of it. I, don't, oh, I would not be any good at um, reviewing multimeters. Yeah. Uh, my mom isn't with us, mate. And my dad, I don't talk to. <clears throat> Twitch chat is dead, so I'm back. <laughs> oh, yeah, many people are on Twitch. Oh, yeah, Twitch chat's a bit dead. There's 13 viewers on Twitch, though. Most people are on YouTube, though. Um, can you even read? No. <laughs> yeah, no, the, uh, I'm no good at, I don't know what half that stuff means. It goes beep beep and it tells me voltage. That's all I need to know. <laughs> oh, no, nah, don't worry about that, Phil. My mom's not, my mom's not with us. It's, it is what it is. There's nothing anyone can do about it. Uh, let's use it. Yeah, I'm going to try and use it. Uh... We here, Major Gamer Geek, welcome. Yeah, so this is nice and look, nice and nifty. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, the only problem with this is it doesn't have USB, but it does say NCV on it, whatever that means. So does that mean it's wireless? There's nothing else in there. Right, we have Hertz, because that hurts. What's NCV? What is NCV? Does anyone know? Right, so we've got DC voltage. <coughs> AC voltage. Uh, what's the... They look like pretty good quality leads, actually. Yeah, thank you, Lawrence. I appreciate that. Non-contact voltage. Oh, okay. Oh, so you can... Ah. So you can read the voltage on a cable without it actually... Um... Is that what that's supposed to be? Is that what that's supposed to be? So you can read cable? I'd have to look into it a little bit more. I don't know most about... Um... I don't know a lot about multimeters, I'll be honest. It goes beep beep and it... It goes beep beep. And um, it tells me the voltage. And it's got diode mode. <laughs> That's what I really care about. Mm, probes are a little thick. Thick. When a live is near, it beeps. Okay. Why no notifications? Um, I haven't actually got it set up. I, I, I need to set up stream elements, mate. Um, yeah, fatality. Thank you for... Uh, fatality, sorry. Whoops, fatality? Yeah. Thank you, fatality. <laughs> I'll just kill everyone's name, fuck it. Uh, yeah, so I haven't got... Twitch set up on stream elements. Andrew, can't you do a review on that melter? Phil has gone. It goes beep beep. Yeah, it goes beep beep. So you got... 
Why isn't resistance mode working? Huh. Wait, what? Or is that the wrong... Is it meant to go in that one? I don't know. Apparently so. Oh, it's got capacitance mode on it as well there. Mmm, it's a little bit slow. She's a little bit slow. Fatality, yeah, thank you. Mmm. Like, if you compare that to mine, but I know mine's not really expensive, but if you compare it to mine, how quick mine beeps, like it, has, it isn't that responsive, really. Like Jaden, thank you for the four ninety nine, I appreciate that. Thank you, mate. Four forty nine rather. Yeah, there's a bit of second delay on that. It's a bit hmm. Yeah, we'll give it a try. Blatancy on beep beep mode means it goes in the bin. I don't mean to like that when it drove me mad. Yeah, that's the thing. There is a fair bit of latency on that. Um, so I'm going to give it a try, though. I'll give it a fair chance. But, I mean, I don't know how much these are meant to cost. I'm not going to look it up because that would be a little bit rude of me. Um, I don't know how much they're meant to cost, but they... Um, like this, bear in mind, my multimeter is 30 quid, it's a 30 pound Amazon special. And there's no latency on, the, on uh, resistance and beat mode. It is nice and portable, yeah, it's nice and dinky. So I'm going to give it a fair shot though. I shall give it a fair shot today. Um, so yeah, let's, let's set up this microscope. So, I need to know if I need to buy an attachment for this, because... Oh, shut up. Oh, we've got auto-sleep mode. Oh, that's going to be annoying as hell. Right, I need... I don't know if my current attachment is going to fit in it. Can't put a five for some reason. No worries, mate. Thank you, mate. I'll send a super chat once Phil does what I'm waiting for. <laughs> Yes, that's right. I need to fix a MacBook. I need to fix a MacBook. Yeah, I don't know if this is going to fit in or not. Or... Oh, I'm going to have to undo this type. King of Bodge. Watch you for three years. I really enjoy your video. Sorry, I'm just reading, I'm reading this. I'll read it quiet because it's a bit long. Uh... Thank you, Steve. I, I really appreciate that, mate. I really do appreciate that. And uh, I hope you have a good Christmas as well, mate. And that was on Twitch, by the way, for the record. So there are some people on Twitch. Oh, I've got no more insulation tape, so I've got to... I've got to break this. Well, not break it, but... It kept sliding around, so I'll put some tape on it. Because I am the king of bodge. King of bodge. King of bodge. Yeah, there you go. Got his ass. Ryan, thank you, mate. Uh... Do you still repair OG? Yeah, I do still do the OGs, mate, yeah. Yeah, so this kept unscrewing, and it was really annoying the life out of me. Um, so I'm going to need to buy an attachment, you know. Um... 
I'm going to need to buy an attachment, I think. I'm going to prepare anything for a can of Red Bull. <laughs> yeah, so before I can use that microscope, I'm going to need to buy an attachment. That's fine, I'll buy one. Uh, I could test them. I could test the camera though. See what the cameras. Um, see how the camera plays. Cause that. Oh, maybe it won't fit it. Ooh. It won't fit. So obviously that don't fit in there. That reduction lens. So that that thing is for my eyepiece, but. Uh, to basically um, create a reducer for my eyepiece on the microscope, like this. See? And then that allows me to put a camera in there. But that won't fit on there. So, I can't even use the camera. Yet. I will use it. I'll buy the proper trinocular attachments. And uh, I'll get it set up and tied. On mobile, you can type. I'm not sure about browser. Not sure about the browser. Uh, yeah, so this is going to annoy the life out of me today because it's going to turn everywhere. But oh well, it'll be fine. Jesper, welcome. All righty then. Let's get some fix on, shall we? Let's get a fix on. Maybe all you had in the back was 4.49. <laughs> Possible. Possible. Right, let's get a fix on. Let me find something to fix. Um... Let me grab a MacBook. I'll try and fix a MacBook and see what we can do. I'll leave my mic on just for the shits and giggles. Why not? Hello, Sarah. I said, hello, Sarah. Oh. Everyone can hear you, Sarah. I'm okay. I'm happy present. You're still wrapping um, presents? Yeah, I need those. I ain't got one. You guys. Prick. Look, Hang on. I'm busy at the minute. Hang on. I'm trying to find a specific job. A very specific job. What's that? MacBook. Apple. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you know, I've got to go through all of this to find it. To find the right one. I'll find the right one, don't worry. Ah, I can see. I'm looking at it. What the hell? think. Diamond. It's the other one of these boxes. Where have we got the jam? Can you box me? You put it there. Where were you? You're missing my jam, is <laughs> I know, I'm joking. Where's that other box? What? Where's that other box? I hey, at the bottom one. Where the bottom one? The bottom there. Mm hmm. Where, where the pads are in? No. No. Do you have no Because London's queue's upstairs and the other queue's down here. But. They go to go with the Yeah. Oh, look, the box is 
No, it's not. No, it's not. It's really not. It's right next to that box there. That box, the middle box. That's that one's more personal to you. That box you're in a bit. That box, my own egg box, and I've got them. Yes. Probably that box there. Yeah. Is that you in this box here? That. Yeah. It's a graphics card that hasn't been collected. Can I say? Nope. It's got about... It's got about a week before it becomes abandoned. I think. I have to check on the system. What? I have to check on the system. Okay. It's been about six weeks. God. There it is. Underneath the uncollected stuff. Okay then. Yes. <sighs> Luna. Oh God. <laughs> Tie the string back on. She's a cat. She don't care. <laughs> Don't get it, you've got about three or four more early on. Yes. Yeah. Still don't think he's going off presents. Don't get it, was 40 quid, weren't it? Not okay. No, I'm just saying, don't get it, you've got a phone as well. Shush, Santa will hear you. <laughs> Santa watches my stream. Oh, yes. <laughs> Santa will hear you. Well, I'll see you in a bit. Right. Now I'm back. After Sarah's put... Existing jobs with <coughs> unconnected jobs. I have to make sure there's no custom info on the bottom. No, that's fine. Dude, who's that? Who's what? The girl? That was Sarah. He locked her off for me, so I hope not. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, I'm knackered, man. Learning electronics, welcome. Michael, welcome. Please don't beat me with the PlayStation 5, we'll just fix that. <laughs> oh dear. Right, that's still condensated. Yeah, these, these turned up condensated. And I've wiped it three, four times. It's got really bad. Um, Whatever that's called, like the peeling, there it does. But apparently, this has got no power. So I'm going to try and fix it. I'm try and fix it at least. Dun, 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 dun. I might need to, yeah, I need to take the thingy out first. Before I can put the cable in, I need to take the, uh, yeah, delamination, that's it. You know, you can use bleach to clean them and uh, it sorts it out. Yeah, I need to take the charger, charger port out before my cable will fit in there. I really need to get a USB-C to MagSafe one. I really, really need to get one. Right, P5, P5, P5. P5.
Let's fix a MacBook. Steingate. <laughs> is that what it's called? It's not Steingate, is he? Yeah, you can use... Um... Maybe Cat was on it. <laughs> oh. yeah. 2015 MacBook Pro. I don't know. When is this? It is... Today, 13.98. I think that's 2013, isn't it? We're having a Rossman evening. We are indeed. Chat is off the rails. Chat's are always off the rails. Chat's mental. Long screw. Long screw. Well, longer. Actually, no, they're not. Is it these ones that are longer? I guess on the 1398 they're not longer. Oh well. You say use bleach? Yes, but very, very carefully. I could do a video because I've got I'm not gonna do it on this, I haven't got the customer's permission. Um and plus I've only ever done it once, but it did work a treat. Uh I could do a video on it. Uh, it was Cam that told me to do that. And it did work. Right. Here we go. So I need the... I need the front panel board out. I'm just going to give it a... Oh, we've got a fan connector snapped. So, I am not going to have a fan connector unless they're the same on the 2014 boards. And even then, I'm not going to have one immediately to hand. So, we've got a fan connector snap there. Um, yeah, interesting. Apparently this has got no power, so I want to see if we get any life from it at all. No, it's not them screwdrivers or screwdriver bits. I keep forgetting it's, it's similar, but it's not quite the same. There it is. Never disassemble one of these either. Damn you. Oh, I hate these antennas. Yeah, so I've got to figure out how to actually get this out. Ah. 
Hang on a minute. Am I taking the... Lol. Oh, I'm taking the wrong one out. It comes out with the board, doesn't it? Damn it. I'm going to have to go and get my other MacBook charger. But even then... That said, even then, I haven't got a... Um, Yeah, I haven't got another USB charger for MacBooks apart from this one that I've got here, so I can't. That was the USB board I was taking out, by the way. Yeah, so I can't. Um... I can't confirm any power until the board's out, anyway. Where I'm going to get a connector from for the fan as well is another question. Long screw, long screw. Service only at an Apple MacBook Center. Peace off. How does that sound? Peace off. Right. Yeah, so this is going to take me a little while because I'm not used to taking these apart so you will have to bear with me while I try and do it Is that attached to there? Yep. Here's the question, do I have to take the fans out?
Wow, that's a lot of pressure. Yes, AliExpress is taking a long while at the minute, mate. Fortunately, it is taking a fair amount of time. So where would the last few screws be? Oh wait, that's not a fan connector, is it? That's not a fan connector. Oh dear. Little tip, never try and force it out. Right, so it needs to Damn it, we've got ribbons there. Sneaky apple with the ribbons there as well. There you go. Right. So, that was a pain in the arse to get apart. Give me the i1466 back, please. I'll take the i1466s. Um, hang on. Damn it. Damn you. It wasn't attached. <laughs> oh, that's pretty annoying. That's pretty annoying. <laughs> Not going to lie. He likes to bully me. Mate, I've got a bit of bad news for you, mate. I've got a bit of bad news for you. I can ban spanners. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle, yeah. Look, yeah, there you go, Danny. Now you're a mod, mate. How's that? Now you can try and talk and you'll have the spanner. You were, you were meant to be a mod, to be fair. I don't need a spanner in here. But you are now. Check this out, though. Bam. Super mod. Boom. Ha, 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 ha. Danny got banned. <laughs> 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 
Just because other mods can't time you out doesn't mean I can't time you out, mate. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, that serves you right now. That serves you right now. I told you Danny would get banned before the end of the night. He always does. He always gets timed out. <laughs> Oh, that's too funny. <coughs> Danny's got a spanner. Now you're banned. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. I love it. You're forgetting, mate. I'm admin. I've got super mod. I can ban anyone. <laughs> Yay. Now look. Now we can connect them up. It oh. Right, so, what's wrong with it? Uh, as far as I know, it's no power, as far as I'm aware. Um, I could be wrong. As far as I know, it's a no power. Right, I just need to find my... Um, My little doohickey that's going to let me... There it is. That little doohickey allows me to bring it over to here instead of having it right on the plug. Also, on a side note... I'm <laughs> glad I didn't have to be a mod. Danny knows it's all in good fun. There we go. So we have 12 volts, 0 amps on that. No green light. But, easy. Because this cable does play up sometimes. Actually, I think it, I think it might actually be playing up. Yeah, I think the cable itself is. Actually, no, it might put a load on it. Hmm. I think the cable might be faulty because that shouldn't turn on until until I actually put a load on it. I don't think the charger is going to put a load on it. Let's see if I can pick up 12 volts on the charger, just to make sure. <laughs> Should be a few Discord users in. Most people, actually. Uh, DC. Let me just see if I can pick up 12 volts. Hmm. Is that education really not grounded? I don't know. <clears throat> I don't think this should be picking up 12 volts before I actually turn it on. So I might need to go and get my other charger and just not see what current is being drawn. 
Yeah. To be honest, I should, I should probably just make a bench supply cable, shouldn't I? Because I had an issue with this cable when I first bought it. It had a short on it. But I don't think this... Shut it. I don't think this USB tester should work until I actually put a load on it. To be honest. So... Stop trying to track me. Stop trying to track me. Camera. So it's now my new desk. Nice. Um, okay. Um, if you can send me that link, Micro, I can I can definitely buy one. Um, yeah, my uni team meter. I don't think I should be getting a load on it. I don't think you should be negotiating twelve volts until. Um, well, basically until I uh, actually have a load on it. So I don't think that's right. Another Freudy cable issue. Oh, there's always a cable issue. Thank you, micro repairs. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go and grab my actual MacBook charger, the one that would work in this properly. Um, it's in the lo It's in the shed, so I'm going to have to go grab it. Um, so I'll be back in a minute.
Hello. <coughs> Man, that was a bitch to find. It really was. An absolute bitch to find. Everything's everywhere, man. Not good. It's not good at all. Right, well. No ammeter, I suppose, but that's at least power it. Right, oh, I'm back. That's one well hidden charger. Yeah, everything's everywhere in there, mate. It's it's all upside down. And back to front. Right, let's see if we get a green light on the charger. Shall we? We do. Does it fan spin? So we get a green light on the charger. See, that's what I mean. That's why I didn't trust it. I need a new cable. Did anyone post that link to that? Um, and do he key the charger cable? That's all. Did anyone post a link to that charger cable? Or rather, did uh, Micro Repairs Liberty post a link to that charger cable? Any recommendations on a optical preferably microscope for under 500? 500 what, mate? Is that euros or? I feel I need to replace the stuff in the shed with the lawnmower. <laughs> uh, what currency is that in, mate? Um, and also, do you need a camera with it as well? Does it need to be trinocular? Run cable. Yeah, that cable's shot. I need to get a new cable. I'm a Discord noob. Yeah, you uh, new, new retro like new retro repair said. What happened with the TV? What TV, mate? Um, do you mean the kids 4K one? Uh, eventually, I got it. Right, do we find spin? No, we do not. Right, does the fan spin on these? Mr. Daniel. Uh, yes, I did get the 4K TV eventually. They unblocked the account temporarily and I managed to order it and receive it. And you know what the funny thing is? They didn't ask for a 60 digit passcode the, same, the next time. Uh, when I ordered it again, they never asked for a passcode. Fucking stupid. Yeah, so it looks like we get uh, no fan spin. We do get a green light, so... We have got something on there. I've got some power. Um, but no fan spin. Where's your board number? Give me the board number. Does anyone know where the board number is on a 1398? Good vibes. Pound camera is optional. Yeah, like... Um, like new retro repair said, Eakins on AliExpress, mate. Uh, where are they hiding the board number on this? Oh, there it is. I can see it. Right, let me just view that under the microscope. Eight two zero thirty seven eighty seven. Okay. Well. Yes, I believe fans should spin. Yeah, I thought it would do, yeah. Thirty-seven eighty-seven, okay. Uh right, I'm gonna get a schematic for the thirty-seven eighty-seven. Schematic. Schematic. <clears throat> right. There we go. That's downloaded. 
No, I shall not tell you where I download them from, ladies and gents, because I will get in trouble for privacy. Because I'm not meant to have them. Google is your friend. You've just seen how quickly I've just downloaded this uh, board view. Um, Google genuinely is your friend, honestly. Um, that's all you need to do is just Google. Come on, Firefox. Why won't Firefox let me open this? Thank you. Right, so I have the board view and the schematic. So I'm going to load up open board view. And now I can show you my desktop. Now I can show my desktop. Uh, let me just make sure that's displaying. No, it's not. Oh, come on. Work. What the hell? Well, I'll do it manually then. There you go. Right, okay. So... Eight two oh thirty seven eighty seven. There is a nice, beautiful looking schematic, and then we're going to open up a PDF as well. And there we go. Boom. Ah, oh, shit. I just showed you where I got it from. Whoopsie. Oh well. Yeah, I got it from Bad Caps. Google's your friend, genuinely. Uh, um, yeah. Oh well, showed you where I got it from. Uh, right. So, someone take care of the bots for me if you can. <clears throat> so, we've got a board view and we've got a schematic as well. So, now I'm going to set up my microscope. Thank you, Keith. Much appreciated, mate. Uh, right, so I need to get my power cable for the microscope. So I can set it all up. Do 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 do. Everything's a mess. I've messed up all my cables. Isn't that nice of me? Right. Is my stream deck actually going to work or not? Why the hell is my stream deck not working? Like, at all. Like, genuinely, my stream deck just isn't working. Is it going to be one of them days where nothing works? Because now I've got to remember which... Um, yeah. Now I've got to remember which USB the stream deck is. That's it. Alright, well, we'll unplug you. And then plug you back in. See if it wants to work this time. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Now I've got to load up Stream Deck software so as I can reinitialize it. Dun, dun, dun. There you go. A new version of Stream Deck is available. No. Updates are designed to break things. 
capture card. Is it going to work? Eee, there we go. Cool. Well, that's working. So, now I've got to get the camera in focus because it's in focus for me and not for you. Very hot GPU. <laughs> right, okay. So, I'm going to go through the schematic quickly. Stephen, thank you, mate. Finally, he sings. I've been waiting all night. <laughs> Thank you for the tenor, mate. I appreciate that. Hey, I'll sing all night if you're going to donate tenors. <laughs> oh, God. Thank you, mate. Have a good night's sleep. Na 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 Stephen just donated a tenor. Thank you very much. <laughs> Right, so I'm going to find what page the power rails are on. It's going to take me a while because I'm not used to the schematics. Oh dear. <clears throat> Where's my power rails? Where's my power rails? Where's my power rails? Parallels. Hang on a minute. It's not. Functional test points. No, I don't want functional test points. I want parallels. I want parallels in the. Oh, for God's sake. I want power rails in the um, table of contents, or rather in the uh, contents thing. Would it be under power aliases? Page eighty one. It might be. <laughs> Apparently, it is. Under it's under power of aliases. Right, so. I think because of the um, <clears throat> I think because of the uh, green light on the charger, I think we've got PP bus G3 hot. Uh, but I'm going to try and find it anyway, just to confirm. Uh, so, I'm going to look for somewhere to test PB Bush G3 Hot, I think. Um, so, I'm on this side of the board. It's up in the top left corner. With underfill on it, lovely. Uh, no, it should be fine. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I could test around here just for for uh, voltage on PP bus G3 hot. So I'm going to find a ground point once I've untangled my cables. I will get in the flow of things in a minute. Uh, 
ground point. And I should probably put the voltmeter on the screen actually for you guys to see. And JTAG. What about the JTAG, mate? No, JTAG fine. A little bit of crud on that one, though. The JTAG's fine. Oh, that don't look good, though, does it? This IC here. That IC shouldn't be that colour. What is that IC? Q3080. Uh, Q3080 is Thunderbolt. It's a Thunderbolt 15 volt boost regulator. Uh, it don't look good, does it? But we have got PP bus G3 hot on uh, on that connector. Um, or rather on that chip. So yeah, that looks pretty rough. Uh, yeah, that's what I was going to do, isn't it? I was going to set the multimeter up on the screen. Um, they all look like it's on the board you've worked on. Oh, okay. I've never worked on one of these boards, so I don't actually know. All right, so multimeter is going to come up on the screen in a minute. As soon as I've enabled everything. Multimeter, there we go, top right hand side. We've got the multimeter, so in voltage mode we go. There we go, fancy. <laughs> got thunderbolted. <laughs> uh, right, so PP was G3 hot, we can test on this cap. Ha, huh, we've got no PP bus G3 hot. Or is it 3V42 that we've got when it's... Um, I think it might be 3V42 we've got when the green light's on the charger. So we've got no PP bus G3 hot. At all. And that is short as well. So... If I... Oh, hang on. Oh, I've unplugged the uh, charger, hang on. But I'm pretty sure PP bus G3 hot was showing up for short then. Let's try it now, it's plugged in. Zero point four two seven volts. Yeah, pretty sure PP bus G3 hot should be higher than that. Shouldn't that be shouldn't G3 hot be twelve volts? Right, if I unplug this and go into, whoops, go into Ohm's mode. That short. We have a short on PP bus G3 hot. Continuity mode. Yep. What the hell is that? Wait, hold on. Um, hang on. Bear with me. Yeah, left side of the... Left side of C3080. PP bus G3 hot. It's definitely left side of... C3080. Um, 
Let me just zoom in so I'll make sure I'm actually getting a good contact on it. So why is it not? So why is it not beeping on that side of the cap? Either way, it's beeping on the resistor. Why would it not be beeping on the other side of the cap? So if you look at this on the desktop, let me show you this. If you look at this, we've got PP bus G3 hot on this this resistor and oh TB test PW Ren Div L. Oh okay, so yeah, it's not meant to be ground then. All right then, that's weird. Uh, yeah, so that's all linked to that. Blah 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 blah. Goes through to the other side of the board, but we've got PP bus G3 hot on the left side of these. That is showing up as short. So, let's have a look around the board, see if I can see anything obvious, but if not, then we're going to zap it with some power. If I can't see anything obvious, I'm going to zap it with power. I'm going to take a wild stab in the dark and say it's probably going to be one of the caps. And of course it would help if I actually turn the microscope back on so you guys can see. Never mind. My bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to take a wild stab in the dark and say it's going to be one of the caps. Ooh, that resistor don't look healthy. So I'm just going to hunt around. Hmm. So I want to look first and see if I can see anything just because, oh hang on, what's that there? Is that possibly evidence of liquid damage? I don't know what that is. Not seeing anything this side. So let's just hunt around on the back. Let's see if I can see anything. Do 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 do. No, see nothing. Nope, not see nothing. No signs of corrosion. At all. No signs of liquid damage. No signs of corrosion. Bank components. Nothing. Nada. Nothing. So. Let's find somewhere nice and juicy. To solder a wire to. Shall we? Let's find somewhere nice and juicy on the PP bus G3, G3 hot to solder the wire to. So I'm just looking on the on the board view. Flip the board, flip the board. 
Give me back my PP bus G3. Heart. No, no good there. Yeah, there's not really any big places to actually solve the wire to, is there? Chip, welcome. Yeah, I'm going to be injecting voltage, yeah. On the back has a silicon thermal pad. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Right, well, there's nowhere really time for your injection. Yep. Yeah. There's nowhere really for it to be, well, there's nowhere viable for me to actually um, solder a wire to. No, it's a short, mate. It's not going to be a fuse. Um, it's a short to ground. It's probably going to be either a capacitor or a chip. So I may as well just solder it to where I was actually testing. So just here. So I can solder it to this resistor here. Um, yeah, so it's, because it's short to ground, it's not actually going to be a fuse. It's going to be... Um, it's going to be that it's going to be something that's got a path to ground. So for it to be for something to be shorted, you need to have a component which is which has got a path to ground go bad. And I would say that it's most likely. I think the most common thing on older MacBooks were the capacitors going bad. And if that's the case, then I'll either have to go and grab. An A1466 donor board and hope I can find one the same value off it, or I'll have to buy some. So, yeah. I'm just, uh... Lighting up a cigarette. Because I can. Just so someone can moan at me afterwards. You're smoking in a workshop. <laughs> right. Um, I need to find a wire that I can use to inject some juice. Inject some juice. Na 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 It's not really, someone will moan at me for smoking in a workshop But I don't care I need some wire <laughs> I really don't care Hmm. Actually, you know what? Um, let's use... Can't see anything. Oh no, desktop was on, mate, sorry. Where... Where did I put that multimeter box? With the other other probes in it, the clippy probes, there it is. Right. I'm never gonna use the red probe as a clamp at all, so I might just chop this. Um I might just chop the red clamp completely off and then I can use it to solder a wire 
and inject, inject some voltage. So I'm going to set my I'm going to set my uh, power supply to 1 volt. You always want to try and go, when you're injecting voltage, you want to go lower than your lowest voltage rail. So, there's a 1.1 volt rail. So, what you want to do is, you want to go to 1 volt, so you can make sure that you don't send more than 1.1 volt to your CPU. Because that would be a disaster. That would be a disaster. So injecting 1 volt is fine because the CPU is used to getting 1 volt. So if PP bus, for example, was short to short to the 1.1 volt rail, if it had a dead short to the 1.1 volt rail, then we'd be uh, sending whatever voltage we're injecting straight through to the CPU, and that's not good at all. Um... I don't think there's a law for it in the US. Um, there's there's a law, you can't smoke in a workplace, but I'm in my house. So, loopholes. We all love a loophole. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to, I think I'm going to snip this. Because I'm never going to use... Actually, can I... Do you reckon I can take it off? And just desolder it so I can resolder it on afterwards. Uh, mm, I could, but it would mean reclamping it anyway, so... Yeah, I'm never going to use the positive... Like, these crocodile clips, I would never use a positive crocodile clip. Like, where am I gonna, what am I going to clamp a positive crocodile clip to? So... That can be snipped. I don't mind that. And then I can solder this wire to... Um, to where I need to go to. Um, so yeah, the smoking law in the UK, you can't smoke in a workplace, but you can smoke in your house. And uh, the reason there's just a law saying you can't smoke in the workplace is to protect other people from secondhand smoke. And I am the only one here. So, fuck them. Clip wire to clamp. Could have done, but I haven't got any more wires. So, right. So... I'm going to get rid of my... Micro pencil. Oh, did Danny come back earlier? Why not banned him? <laughs> yeah, so get rid of that. And I'm going to put... That soldering iron in. Set that back to 450. need to tin this wire So now I'll connect up my. I'll try and connect. I'll try and connect up my bench power supply to the. Um, computer. So as you can see, what shows up on screen, or what what shows up on the bench supply. I'll do my best. I shall do my best. I really need to stop unplugging this. Right, 
Right, so now I need to find out what COM port it's on. We have COM3, okay. <clears throat> COM3. Power DC. Pretty sure I've already got it set to COM3. There we go. Boom. Boom. Right. So now that's all messed up. There we go. So power supply is on the screen. Let's go to the microscope. And then I'm going to go back over into this corner where I was before. There you go. Beautiful. I'm just going to get rid of this uh, underfill that's around here. Thank you. So I'll get rid of that underfill just so as I can solder to that resistor and that way then I can inject voltage. How that wire gets hot quick. It's too thick. The wire is too thick. Thick. So I'm going to shave a bit of the wire off just so I can get a good connection on it. Get rid of that rest, the rest of that underfill. There's no real good place to solder a wire to here.
There we go. All right. Focus. Right, okay. I'm going to confirm I've got a contact on it by, well, unplugging it from the multimeter, uh, unplugging it from the power supply, and I'm going to plug back in the power cable, and then I'm going to check. It was reading like 0 0.4 something volts. So, if it was reading 0 0.4 something, 4 something volts, then it should be reading 0 0.4 something volts when I probe the wire. Damn it. I'm not in voltage mode. Why is my uh, multimeter not working on the screen now? Thank you. Yeah, that's got a contact. Okay, cool. Right, turning the power supply on. Now. Oh ho ho. Something's going to be getting hot there. 4.8 amps. Yes, please. Let's use the thermal can. 4.8 amps. Jesus. That's a lot of amps. That is a lot of amps. Let's use the thermal cam. Shall we? Uh, flare one. Turn it on. Let's use the thermal cam. Oh shit. And it's still plugged in. Damn it. Oh, and it's still drawing five amps anyway. Something's getting hot somewhere. Zero point six seven volts, five point one amps. Is this thing actually going to turn on or what? Shut up, Google. Work, you stupid thing. Really? Thank you. Ooh, hoo, hoo. something's getting real hot. Cable's not warm. Ooh, that might be. Might be a, the CPU. Oh, damn it. The fucking thing keeps going off. What the hell?
Hello? Really? <sighs> well, I know one thing, I won't be buying another flare camera. Seriously? Are you going to work now? Really is going to be a day of no not working. Yeah, something's getting real hot. Well, actually, it's not even getting that hot. It's, it's around this area here, actually. Apparently. You have got to be fucking kidding me. What are these caps on here? Because the heat is around here. Let me find out what these caps are. Flip the board. PP VIN S5 high side computing might all be hang on let me just high side GP oh <laughs> high side GPU and high side computing please tell me there's a PP bus G3 hot on this No. S5 high side computing and S5 GPU. I sense. Unless it's on this side. It's not getting hot enough to tell, that's the problem. No, I haven't got any ice spray now. The camera's a troll, yeah. Travis and Danny. Oh, it could be these chips here. What are these chips? Let me have a look. Um, U73. U73. 
U7310. Yeah, I think these are CPU MOSFETs. I can't even inject any more voltage because I'm pretty sure they're CPU MOSFETs. Um, how's it going, Nick? Welcome, buddy. Uh, it could have flux on it, yeah. So there's some there's some little MOSFET thingies here. Um, MOSFET things of some sort. And these... Well, this is the area it's getting warm. But I don't know if it's... I don't know if that's... Uh... Oh, damn it, my... Frigging wires just come off now. Yeah, that's the area that's cool. that's getting warm. I need to resolder this on. Damn it. Can't seem to get a contact on that resistor now. Ah. Literally pinpointed a single 0201 cap. Nice. Right, I need to get this resistor off and then resolder it on. I've actually lost, I think he's actually lost, lost the um, side of the resistor. I'll have to find, I'll have to find out what that resistor is and replace it. Um, yeah, well, replace it if I can get it working. Because I've got a feeling this could be GPU related. Damn it, same as the cap as well, the cap's gone the same. But I've got a feeling this is either CPU or GPU short. Alright, let me see if I can find out what that resistor value is. Um, so we've got R3080. So if I look on the schematic at R3080. That should tell me the value. Man, Microsoft Edge is so slow. 470 kilo ohm. 470k. Yeah, where the hell am I going to find a 470k resistor? Apart from on a donor board. I'm not going to find that right now, but... Um, but yeah, let's... Let's carry on looking here. So, if you look here on the board view, the area where it's getting warm, you've got U7320, and you've got U7310. So you've got these two, I think they're probably MOSFETs, I'm assuming. Um, so U7310. Uh, 
phase one. CPU VR boot one. So I don't really know what this is, but I'm assuming that we're probably going to have a short on one of these lines. I'm assuming we've got a short on one of these lines. And I think this is probably a dead CPU. Um, let's go. No, we don't want that. We want this. We want this page here. So PP was G3 hot is short. Um, what do we have on this line? PP VIN. S5 high side computing connected to C7621. So let me find that. Right, so we've got J3700, that's going to be the SSD connector. And right next to there, we've got a cap. Just here. Just there. So, let me test resistance on that. Uh, yeah. Zero ohms. Zero ohms to ground on there. Zero ohms. I think that's dead CPU. <clears throat> I could be wrong. I think that's dead CPU. What do you guys think? S5 high side computing short. See if there's anything on uh, repair.wk. Right. Show you my desktop. Um. Under 10 ohm, then you most likely have a direct 12 volt short to the CPU or GPU. Yeah. Yep. PP was G3 hot sorted to ground, most likely a dead CPU or GPU. Yep, nope, there you go. If PP was G3 hot to CPU or GPU V core coil, 
He's not under one ohm, they're shorted elsewhere. Inject one volt and use the thermal camera. Me. Um, on this board, the situation is always a null fix. Right, so let's, uh, let's find CPU v core, let's just confirm. Uh, v core. Um, can't see it on there. Hang on. V core. V core GPU. PPV core SLCPU. I'm assuming that's going to be it. Let's just see what else we can find. Oh, there's 30, there's 30 fucking nine of them. Is that all there is, really? Right, well... Let's find R5520 on here then. R5520. Where is that? By U5000. What's that going to be? Hmm. Yeah, good luck finding that. That goes to oh, so that so that goes directly to the CPU, I think. Oh no, that's U five thousand. Um, anywhere on this side. No. Nope. So I've got to fit the board. Lovely. Let's see what you guys are saying. He said no point. Yeah, no, but I'll just. Uh, this is um, 8.12.34. Is it 34.37? What is it? 37.87. Uh, inject 230 volts for fun. I would if it was my board. Uh, GPU proved me wrong. <laughs> rip CPU, rip CPU, rip CPU, rip CPU, rip CPU. Not looking good for CPU, I agree. Oh, I agree. Yeah. Uh, never mind. I don't think it's going to be anything other than the CPU. The heat is around that area and... Yeah, I'm assuming you. I'm assuming U5000 is the SMC. I could be wrong. I'm, assu I'm assuming that's the SMC. Let me just try and figure out where this is. Uh... Ugh. 
I'm going to try and figure this out now. Do, 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 do. That one. I think. I think it's there. Yep. Yeah. Alright, so. Resistance to ground on that. Four four point five K. Huh. Four point five K resistance to ground on that. If that's a CPU vehicle, then... Oh. But then again, that side is 1.8 ohms. So if one of them sides is CPU vehicle, then we've got a short to ground, and that's probably Freud the GPU. It's Freud the CPU. Uh, that is CPU V sensing. So I'm assuming that is going to be CPU vehicle. Switching a microwave for a reflow. Don't put your board in a microwave. People have actually done that in the past. That's a scary thing. Yeah, so we've got we've got 1.8 ohms on the right hand side of that resistor. And if you look at um if you look on the right hand side of that resistor. SMC CPU package vSense. So. Oh, so that is actually reading 4.53k on that resistor. So that's reading the resistor, yeah. That side of the resistor. Um, but this side is 1.8 ohms. And, uh, yeah, that's probably a low impedance line, but I don't think it's supposed to be 1.8 ohms. According to... Repair.wiki. You should check this out if you ever need help with MacBooks and stuff. I'm not a MacBook technician, so obviously I use Repair.wiki when I'm whenever I'm having a look. Um, but if you take a look, no power. PP bus G3 hot shorted to ground, which we've got. Uh, measure PP bus G3 hot to V core coils. The coils around the CPU and GPU. If I was measure, oh, should we do that actually? There's the coils around the GPU and CPU. Um, I'm assuming that it's referring to these around here. Coils around the CPU and GPU. So I'm assuming it's referring to these. Let's just have a look at what they am on the board view. I know I'm pretty much just wasting time at this point. I think it is a dead CPU. Um, right, so these coils. Ah, PPV core. Okay, so yeah, that coil is PPV core. This coil just here. Let's have a look at the resistance to PP bus G3 hot. So I've got that coil there. Twenty seven ohms. Twenty seven ohms from PP bus G three hot to um CPU V core. Yeah, 27.5 ohms on both sides of the coil. And our survey says... It 
inject one volt and use a thermal camera to help you find a short. I've used a thermal camera and I can't find you. 39 hours short on PP bus G3 hot. GPU MOSFET gone bad because GPU book converter became desoldered from the board. Huh. It might not be. Because that's 27 ohms, not 1 ohm. Or not under, sorry, not under 10 ohms. It's 27 ohms. I've injected 1 volt and I can't find the short. I can't. I've, it's taking 5 watts and it's not showing up. Um, well, I could remove the GPU MOSFETs and just see... Just see if that changes it. But I'm not... I'm finding heat around that area, around these MOSFETs. I'm assuming that these are the MOSFETs for the, uh, the GPU. They're the only... MOSFETs I can really see. So maybe if I remove these, start with these. Um, and just see. Retracted anyway, just in case. Yeah, mate, no worries about it. Don't worry about that. Yeah, it took five amps. It wasn't, it was, it was, it was going to like 32 degrees. Surely, if it was a MOSFET, it'd get to high, it'd get to higher than 32 degrees. I would imagine. So I could remove this. Well, I could start with this MOSFET. Um, these are the GPU MOSFETs. I could start with these and then just take it from there. Um, I mean, I would have to buy some. I don't have any. In, I don't have any in stock. So unless there's some on a A1466 board, then yeah. But this is the only area that was getting hot, apart from the uh, decoupling caps on the other side of the board. Come on. This might be another GPU MOSFET that's welded to the board. If it is, then this is going to tear a trace. No, it's fine. All right, we'll start with that one. Man, that takes some hit. That takes some heat. Nick, hello, hello. I will see you Sunday, Nick. And Joey as well, welcome. Yeah, so... I mean, I can test again now. Around there. Um... So let's check resistance. From there, oh, 
Why are you not showing? Uh... Why are you not showing that on screen? Oh come on! Stop it and work. A fucking multimeter keeps playing up. Oh <laughs> no! The software's crashed. Typical. Hold on a second. Oh, all my all my USBs have just gone off. Oh, God, for God's sake, every USB's gone off. What the hell? <sighs> Why is every USB just shut off? He's just crashed a lot of them. Now I've got to reset my capture card. Yeah, have a good night, Wayne, if you're leaving, mate. No worries. Have a good night, buddy. Right, okay, so... Right, that's showing on screen now. Okay, so... With that MOSFET removed, guess what? Seven million ohms. Seven million ohms. But what about... <laughs> That's PP plus G3 hot to ground right now. That's PP plus G3 hot to ground right now. Six million ohms. Right, let's have a look over. Let's have a look over here. Mr. Steve B. And... What's the resistance there? Okay, that's still two ohms, but I don't know if that's normal or not. Unless I'm measuring the wrong thing there, but removing that MOSFET appears to have got rid of the short. So let me plug in the power cable now. It's not going to hurt it if there's no... Um, What do you call it? It's not going to hurt it if there's no MOSFET on there. Just isn't going to provide it with any power. Okay, we've got orange light. Let's have a look. Let me measure voltage on uh, PP bus G3 hot now. If I can remember where the hell it was. Where was it? Oh, it's up here. Let's measure voltage there now, shall we? Voltage mode, voltage mode, voltage mode. Voltage mode, voltage mode, voltage mode. 12.57 volts. Boom. I think we found the problem, ladies and gents. 12.57 volts on PP bus G3. Hot. So we probably get a fan spin. Well, I don't know if we would get a fan spin on um, I don't know if we would get a fan spin with no GPU MOSFET there, but I don't know. I'll find out in a minute. Once I plug a fan in. <laughs> fan spin.
Hasta luego. Fan Spain. Da, 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 da. I'm going to go grab a donut board in a minute. No fan spin. So I think we probably need that MOSFET there for it to turn on. CPU is getting warm though. Thank you, Wayne. Much appreciated, mate. Welcome to the, uh, the live stream. CPU is getting a little bit warm, so I would say that's problem done, problem solved. What the hell console is this? It's a MacBook. It's a MacBook. Right, let me find out what that chip is. <clears throat> let me find out what that chip is. Um, if I go to my desktop, and we go for open board view, the MOSFET I removed is U7310, and U7310, I love working with schematics, it's great, damn it, U7310. FDMF6808N. Copy. And then we're going to use a proper browser because Microsoft Edge, Edge sucks. And we're going to search for this. Oh, we can get it from Moza. And eBay. So I could get it from eBay. Damn. Uh, from China though. Oh, that sucks. Well, if I want it from the UK, it's ah oh, five pound twenty-five. Okay. What about from Moza? How much is it from Moza? Actually, let me uh, uh it's not gonna be on the double O nine two three, I'll guarantee that. We're not gonna say use the same MOSFET on the 820-00923, but they might use the same MOSFET on the 3437. For the MacBook Air, maybe. Download the PDF. Oh dear. Give me the PDF. Thank you. Right, let's use a proper browser and see if it's on the A1466. Nope. I'm going to have to order one. Unless it's on the 1502. I've got a 1502 donor board as well. <clears throat> I was logged in. Why have you logged me out?
often with Firefox. Damn it. I'm going to have to buy one. Right, well, I can't fix this tonight. Because I haven't got one, unfortunately. That's the only donor boards I've got. So, I'm going to need to order one. So, I guess I'll move on to something else for now. And then... Read chat. Feel read chat for what? Take pictures so you know where screws go. Uh, kind of a little bit late for that, mate. Uh, 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 uh. Kind of a little bit for that. A little bit late for that, mate. I'll, for, I'll sort the screws out. Don't worry about that. Shame he's turning that PC into, into, into a Mac. That is true. What is this MacBook? MacBook. MacBook. Yeah, a little bit late for that. I've already took all the screws out. Don't worry about that anyway. I'll be fine. I'll figure the screws out. And if I don't figure the screws out, Stephen will help me. Ha. I'll knock a tenner off his repair. <laughs> nah, don't worry about the screws, honestly. I'll sort them out. I shall sort them out. So yeah, I'm going to have to order one of them. And if that means paying £12 to get one from the UK, then that means paying £12 to get one from the UK. And then I'll carry on with this repair when it turns up. So this will go back in the queue for now. And I'll order one. Probably, probably order two, just to be on the safe side. Just to be on the safe side, I'll probably order two. Because that way then I'll have one. Oh, fuck. Well, maybe it's a PC. <laughs> That's probably never going to go back on, but never mind. It is what it is, and I am what I am. You know what I should say to people? I should say that if you want me to fix your MacBook, just send me the MacBook on its send me the MacBook board on its own. <laughs> right, so yeah, at least we found the problem with that. Or we appear to have found the problem. We've now got we've now got twelve volts on PP bus G3 hot. Um so we've got twelve volts on PP bus G3 hot and the 27.5 ohms short between the GPU MOSFET and PP bus has gone as well, so we should be good. They meant Alan L can shift them to you from Birmingham. Ah, huh. oh, okay. They ignore me too. Alan L, I didn't see it. Have you ever tried reading up 200 chat messages? It's impossible. Hang on and I'll find it. Where is it? I can't see. I see one from Alan now. You need 85 watt charger. Um, is that not an 85 watt charger? Uh, I'm going to buy a new USB cable anyway. Um, 60 or 45 watt charger won't work with the 15 inch boards. Oh, okay, so I probably have got the wrong charger. I have got a USB, but it's it's gone faulty, so... Um, I'm going to get another one of them USBs, I think. Because that way, that way then I can use the... Uh, I've got a 20 volt charger. Um, or up to 20 volts. So I can use that. Right, so this will go back in the queue. Did you say Alan has some for sale? Some of them MOSFETs.
Uh, I mean, if he's got some for sale, then yeah, by all means, I'll be happy to buy some if you've got some of them, mate. Um, if you want to drop me an email, um, or there's my phone number. Don't spam me, everybody. It's public anyway. It's on my website. That kind of beside the point. Don't spam me. There's my phone number. <coughs> if Lewis Rossman doesn't get spammed with 1.6 million subscribers, then I'm sure I'll be fine. <laughs> no, my um, my phone number's public anyway. It's on my website, so it doesn't really matter. But, it, but bear in mind, it's a business line. I do not, I do not use WhatsApp for. I know this is going to sound really bad, but if someone sends me a message and says, "Can you tell me what's wrong with my console?" and they send it through WhatsApp, I'll ignore it. The reason, reason for that, and the reason for that is because this is a business line. So basically. Um, I've seen your address. Oh, thank you, mate. Um, let me know what I owe you, honestly, because I'm going to be getting paid for the job, so let me know whatever I owe you, mate. I'm happy to buy them. If you, if you can get them sent out to me quicker than eBay can, I'm happy to buy them. Oh, so tempting. <laughs> yeah, oh, it, it sounds really bad, but the reason is because it's a business line. So, obviously, there's a difference between helping people for free and keeping a business line free of spam sort of thing so that's that's why we've got the discord because obviously discord it's not just me that can help as well it's everyone there's a lot of people that can help so that's why we've got the discord um yeah i'm gonna go and grab a cup of coffee guys and then i'm gonna work on I'll, i'm gonna let you guys choose and i'm not gonna tell you what's wrong with any of them I'm going to let you guys choose while I'm gone. Out of a Nintendo Switch, a PlayStation 4 Pro, or an Xbox Series X. PS4 Pro, Nintendo Switch, Xbox Series X. Series X, not Xbox One X. Series X. I'm going to let you guys choose while I go and grab a fresh cup of coffee. And I'll be back in two minutes.
Hello. <coughs> right. I'm back. Right. Let's see what people are saying. Right, well, have you ever checked out Odyssey? I haven't, mate, no. Only time for 11 months is when I ring that number. Surprise. <laughs> he's not put me on. Surprise he's not put me on divert. <laughs> right, that number in every public funeral. You can't do that, mate, because I'd actually like that, so you can't do that. <laughs> I ain't got a PS5, mate. Series X, who knows switches? I might do a, I might do a switch just to troll Danny. <laughs> Jaden console. Switch, no power. It's not an old power. It's not an old power. Uh, series X, Series X, Series X, Series X, Xbox. Got to be the X, Series X, Series X, Series X. Atari ST. I got an Atari 2600. Um. Can we have faults instead of console type? Uh, I vote you repair the snares. Can't, brother in law nicked it. <laughs> Series X, Series X. PS4, Series X. It's not a HDMI port. It's not a HDMI port. The original fault was a HDMI port. I know what the faults are, they're broken. <laughs> yeah, it's not a HDMI port. I think Xbox One. I think Xbox One. <clears throat> I need to know how it comes apart for a clean. Eh, they're not that bad. Yeah, I think the Xbox One. Repair the damn snares. <laughs> I'll, I will when I get my snares back, mate. Off my brother in law. Go for the Series X. Please say PP bus G3 hot. <laughs> always clean your PP bus. No, it's always check your PP bus, isn't it? Uh... All right, I'll tell you the, uh, the Series X problem. It went in originally for an HDMI port. It originally went in for a HDMI port, and now it's got a beep on beep off. And I did one of these last week. And I also did one a couple of months ago. And the last two beep on beep off I've had have been exactly the same. Go in for HDMI port, come out with beep on beep off. And it's exactly the same problem every time, normally. So I did one of these on stream. The first one I ever did, I did on stream. Uh, managed to fix it. And the second one that I ever did was uh, a video, which I haven't released yet. I'm on its stream. <laughs> PSP. Snares is a hard console to fix if you've got asthma. Can't blow in the slot. <laughs> RW, uh, RB, welcome, mate. Right, so, yeah. This apparently went in... Originally for a HDMI port, um, so this is a prior repair attempt. <coughs> it went in for a HDMI port, and now it's got a beep on beep off after the HDMI port's been changed. So, the two other times that I've done these, <coughs> it's been down to a little 5 volt regulator on the back of the board. Um, I don't know what it is about them, but whenever the HDMI port goes and they get changed, you end up with a beep on beep off, and that's two different technicians. Three consoles with two different technicians who it's happened to. Yeah. So, it's a beep on beep off, which means that when you press a button, it tries to turn on, and then it just turns straight back off. Cool. Okay, well, there we go then. So, this should be rather interesting. Let's see if it's the same issue. If it is, then I'm going to need to run and get an Xbox OG donor board. 
because I don't know the chief name of them. I don't know the part number for them, but they are on Xbox One OG boards. So, yeah. So I'll get it apart and then we'll see what's going on with it. Hopefully he's going to... Slacking again. Always, mate. Hopefully he's going to wear... Uh... Be good to go. What I am going to do, I have an incredibly bad headache right now, so I'm going to take my painkillers. Give you 120. <laughs> it's not mine. <laughs> I am. I do want to buy one. I want to buy a faulty one. But not a HDMI port. I want to buy a no power or something. I want to see some weed getting some love. I could, could take a video in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, the big ones. Yeah, it's the same five volt regulator. I agree. It is pretty ugly. I'm not going to attempt to say your name because I'll fuck it up. So, I'm not even going to try. <laughs> I'm not even going to try and say your name. Yeah, I, I, I do smoke in my workshop, yeah. It's my workshop. It's actually my loft. Can this apply to other Xbox as well? Um... The OG Xbox, technically, yeah. Um, I don't think they're on the Xbox One S or X board, though. Right, well. I'm going to take this warranty sticker off. I don't know why people do this. If you use a little bit of heat on this. Like if you use a little bit, of, just a little bit of heat on this sticker. 100 degrees Celsius heat. That sticker will come off clean. That sticker will come off clean. You don't need to break the seal. It makes it look ugly. I'd be pissed if I bought a console and it ended up with a broken seal like that. To be honest. Right. Torx T8. There we go. So, yeah, these are relatively straightforward to get apart. You've got a screw there. And then you've got a screw under this sticker here. There you go. And then... If you get a little prying tool, you can pry that off. But then when you get to the end, don't just put it straight up. That's going to be pretty foolish. Don't just put it straight up. Because it slots in there. See that? It slots in. And you'll probably end up snapping it. So you've got some little clips there. They they slide in on an angle. And then go down like that. So don't just try and put it up. Because you'll probably snap it. Just uh, a little bit of a heads up there. Right, now comes the pain in the arse. So you've got to try and get this base off. So this black base here unclips. There's a clip just there. Let me see if I'm going to zoom in on that actually. So yeah, there's a clip just there. So this clip right here. You have to lift that clip up and then turn the base. So I might rustle my mic a little bit for this because it is really tight. And they are really awkward.
Come on. Sometimes the clips end up snapping, but it will. If this clip snaps now, let's say, for example, if this clip end up snapping, it won't stop the base from sealing back on. There's more clips on there, so if this clip does end up snapping, it's really not a big deal, but they are super, super tight. And to be honest, I don't think there's any Series X that I've opened up that this hasn't ended up snapping. I just don't have the technique for some reason. I just don't get the technique. So, can we make it the first one that I'm not going to snap this clip on? <laughs> so, it's just absolutely solid. To the right. Uh, how do you mean, mate? I'm not sure what you mean there. Yeah, I'm really not sure what you mean. What does flat one to the right mean? Is it that there? Is that what you're on about? That? Is it? Is it really? Because I've always tried to do that. <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot. I've always been trying to get that clip off. Oh, I'm such a fool. Well, it's that clip there. Hello. Oi, Coda, you're a knobhead. I'm an idiot. I've always tried to get this clip out. Oh, I'm such a knobhead. I guess that's why it breaks. I guess that's why it breaks. Well, you learn something new every day. Because I always thought it was that clip there. I guess not. Can you show that again? Yeah. I'll show you how to do it. I'll tell you what, I'll show you how to do it. And then when it comes to editing this video, that means that I won't... Um, okay. That means I won't look a fool. Right, you ready for this? This is going to be magic in the editing. You seen this? Wait till this makes a video. Right. To disassemble this correctly, you need to remove this base. So to remove this base is very, very simple. A lot of people try to go to this clip here because it looks like that clip's got to be pushed forward. But it's not. It's actually this flat clip here which is flush to the base. So if you just pop that clip out, turn it, and it'll come out. Simple as that. And that's how you edit a video on fake it. <laughs> now we can all be like the verge. Ooh, burn. Ooh, savage. Ooh. Anyway, <laughs> right. So there's a couple of screws here which need to come out. So you got this one here. You got a green one there. Too slick. I am indeed, mate. <laughs> I'll comment on the video. And you got two green ones there. <laughs> Oh dear. 
Actually, apart from that, genuinely, I never knew it. I never knew how to do that. <laughs> I guess that's why I always break it. And their security talk screws. They they are. I don't know. I'll have a look under the scope in a minute. I don't think they are. I think they're just normal talk screws. I'm sure they are. I'll have a look under the scope. I'm pretty sure that's a normal. Yeah, it's a normal torque screw. Um, some of them might be torque screw, torque security bits, but that's a normal torque bit. I love having a microscope, man. It's great. What's the Discord? I might pop in. If you type in exclamation point Discord as one word, um, it'll uh, it'll give you an invite link, mate. All right, so we've got a screw just there. There you go. Screw there. Screw there. Then the fan will pop out if you unclip it. The fan comes out. Nice and simple. Cover to the disk drive. Nice and simple. The disk drive is actually um, the same as the Xbox One X. So if you do, if you do have one of these and your disk drive fails, then you can just use a normal Xbox One X disk drive. You do have to swap the daughter board still, so it's still got the same daughter board in it that we had before. But other than that, the disk drive is the same. So that's an Xbox One. Original. Uh, that's an Xbox Series X disk drive. And that. And that is a Xbox One X disk drive. So, DG6M5S, DG6M5S. So, they'll be the same on the front as well and damn it I've just run out of this space hang on right bear with me a second Right, I'm just moving all of that to another drive because my uh, my recording drive. I use a I use a 500 gig SSD for recording, um, and I've just run out of space. There's a tab on the One X's disk drive. Uh, what do you mean, mate? No, they're exactly the same. Them disk drives. Exactly the same model. A floppy disk. No easy fix money. Is this world is a big fix? No. Nah. Easy job. Yeah, no worries, um, that dude. Right, so as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted, and now I'll go do it again for the video. These disk drives are exactly the same. So this is a one. This is an Xbox One X disk drive and this is the series x disk drive and the model number is exactly the same and the front is exactly the same as well so that one x disk drive will fit straight in there 
well, it would if you remove that foam. So if you remove that foam from the One X, that will literally just slot straight in there and it'll work fine because they're exactly the same model number. So, yeah, don't worry. And then this, we are going to get, well, we're going to try and get this out. So, if you look at this here, let me just bring my main screen back on so I know what you're seeing. So, if you look at this little ribbon here, there's a little metal clip behind it. So you can see that metal clip behind the ribbon. If you literally just push that metal clip in, then that will slot out. Easy peasy. Same with this one. I think it's no, it's not that one. That one you clip that way. There you go. But it's easy. Super super easy. Now, one of the interesting things about this is that this ribbon wasn't in properly. So, there is a chance that potentially that could cause a beep on beep off issue. So, I'm going to make sure that this ribbon's in because that was on a slant. That was on a slant. So, I'm going to make sure that these ribbons are in fully. And then I'm going to turn this back on and see if it wants to turn on. As far as I know, it will boot up without the fan. Yeah, the 1S would fit, but you need to modify the front of it, yeah. That is correct. So, yeah, I'm going to make sure before I go any further, because I don't really want to take out 30 screws if I don't have to. Oh, hang on. Yeah, okay, so it's still beep on, beep off. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So I, d I didn't want to have to take out 30 screws if I don't have to, so... Obviously, if I just... Give it a quick test, knowing that the ribbons are incorrectly, then... It rules another thing out. I'll just unclip them. There we go. <clears throat> and then I'm going to... Remove that from there, and that is going to lift out nice and easy. Nice and easy. And then you can use the box to store all of your parts. So I usually just drop all of the parts into the box, into the actual housing. And that basically uh, stops me from losing anything. Right. Get the strap off. There you go. And then we can carry on. So... I'll start with this front panel. And now really it's just a case of removing the screws. Alright, so those screws are different to all the rest. Those are unique to the front panel, so don't forget them ones. There's a few different screw types. So you've got these black screws. So all of these black screws are all the same. All these small black screws. So you've got that one there. And that one will match with them ones. So yeah, you can you can mix them up, it's fine. Same as the green ones, the green ones are all the same. Um do we have any more black ones? Right, that black one holds that clip on. Yeah, some more black ones here. Got one there. 
Actually, these ones are different. Sorry, my bad. They are different. These are a little bit thinner. Let me show you a comparison. Sorry, my bad. So the ones that go in the metal frame are a little bit thinner. Sorry, I thought they were the same, but they're not. I haven't opened many of these yet. So these ones are a little bit thinner. So yeah, keep them separate. There we go. And then we've got some long silver screws which go right the way through. So I've left a black one there as well. So you've got some long silver screws which go right the way through. And these long silver screws go all the way through the, uh, the heat sink. So they're basically the heat sink screws. Or rather the frame screws. Welcome, Brian. This is an Xbox Series X with a beep on beep off issue, mate. I can't remember if these two are a little bit shorter. I think they are. Yeah. So these ones are a little bit shorter, the ones that go into the middle of the. Uh, frame so that one's shorter and then this one here is shorter as well but them three are all the same as well and I think that's it until I lift the power supply off I think that is it so I don't bother taking this off, any of this here. I just literally move it out of the way and then just unclip the power supply. This one I do take off because it's a little bit more awkward. So I do open this one up. Come on, there we go. So I'll unclip that. And boom, power supply off. And then, you don't technically need to remove any of this. So all of this can stay as one. If you just disconnect that ribbon from there, so push these two tabs in. Let me just show you that. So on this ribbon connector, two tabs there, push the tabs in when you open and close it. So when you put the ribbon back in, and when you take it out, push that in. Because otherwise you will damage either the connector or the ribbon. Obviously you don't want to be breaking that because that is going to be a proprietary ribbon. But obviously, as you can see, that's going to be fairly tight. And plus, once this is all taken apart, this ribbon here, well, this part of the board, it's not going to take much to snap that part of the board at all. Like, that is very, very weak. So if you try and yank on that, you're either going to snap this connector, you're going to snap the ribbon, or you're going to snap the board. One of the three. These boards are really thin because of the split board, uh, because of the split board design. So yeah, and then you can just feed that through. 
and boom. So that, I don't think I'll need that. This, this part, on the original repair, when the, um, when it was sent in for a HDMI, this part shouldn't have been touched. Look, none of these screws should have even been touched. The board shouldn't have been touched. The only thing that should have been touched on this board are the connectors and this connector here while it's being taken apart. Um, so if you ever need to do a HDMI, you do not need to touch that board at all. The only board you need to touch is this board, which is the CPU board. I think this one's got the safe bridge on it, this uh, secondary board. I'm pretty sure it's got the safe bridge on it, but you don't need to touch it for most repairs. So you can just literally keep that on the frame. It's nice and safe. You've got no problems. No problems at all. And then you can just remove the heatsink. I am going to say something now. Do this in even turns. Microsoft was not messing around with this APU clamp. So I literally go five half turns on each one. Just release a bit of pressure and then just keep going five turns. Just loosen a bit of pressure off it. Do it corner to corner as well. Try and keep pressure as even as you can on this, because this this APU clamp is no joke. And there it will come off. There you go. It does take about thirty turns. It's not a joke. You've taken it apart and still haven't found the games. Uh, what do you mean? I'm not sure what you mean. There you go. Yeah, just don't... Don't treat that clamp like a fool. Trust me, that clamp is no fool. No fool at all. And then you got to try and... Well, the last part to disassembly is to try and uh, try and release the pressure off the um, off the board. Oh, there you go. That got him. Never mind. I was gonna I was gonna pry it off. There's a fair bit of pressure on the board, just because of how, how much pressure is on the clamp. Right. <clears throat> Joke if you ask, Xbox has no games. <laughs> what is that? It's an Xbox Series X. Right, so, let's have a look at the HDMI port first, because this has had a replacement HDMI port. Not by me, but it has had a replacement HDMI port. And that's when the issues started. So. <clears throat> now I feel like Mr. T. <laughs> yeah. So what I want to do first then is just clean up that flux. Because this flux has been left on the board. I believe no clean flux is used. So I'm just warming up the board just to put a bit of heat in the board and warm up that flux so I can clean it easier. Oh, damn it, I've lost my free night PA. Where is it? Got it. It's... 
It's thermal paste on the Series X, mate, not liquid metal. Okay. Right, so the Series X is the one console where you can end up with shorts on the HDMI port and not be able to see them. So that's going to be my first port of call. Ha! <laughs> See what I did there. So, the problem with this is the pins go right underneath the port, and obviously that can cause bridging. And if you've got bridging on, for example, the 5 volt line to ground, then you probably would get a beep on beep off. Uh, I don't even know if I've got any ports for the Series X. Let me have a look. Have I got any Series X ports? I don't know. I don't think I have. Nope. I have not got any Series X ports. That's the only console I haven't got any ports for. Ugh. The graphics on this stream are great. Well, that's what I aim for, mate. It is actually everything I've got running. Like every camera I've got, the microscope, the overhead, uh, the side view, they're all actually outputting 4K. Uh, but then I've just downscaled it to 1080p. So, yeah, I'm going for um, a 4K. I'm going for 4K and then uh, downscaling 1080 I'm only in 1080, I would normally be streaming in 4K, but I haven't got an Ethernet cable running up into my loft net yet. I've only recently moved from my um, my workshop in the shed to the loft. The main reason for that was just because it's cold, so... Um, yeah, it's just too cold to be in the shed at this time of year. Right, there's no shorts on that at all. No shorts at all on that. So let me go... Well, first of all, let me just get the multimeter back up on the screen. There you go. Multimeter's back up on the screen. And I'm going to test in... It's diode mode. So I'm going to go diode mode and I'm just going to test these differential pairs. So basically on the HDMI circuit, this is the HDMI, HDMI retimer, redriver, whatever the hell you want to call it. It's NB7N. Um, if anyone knows where to get these yet, then let me know. But I've never come across one that's blown yet. But Tronics Fix has pin moved. Yeah, I'll take a look, mate. Um... But that's not going to be the cause of beep on beep off as well, though. That's the problem. Um, that there is just off my um, cotton swab. I'll get rid of that at the end. Um, these EG, I don't know. I don't actually know what EG stands for, but these are some sort of filters. These are super weak. When I first disassembled the Xbox Series S, uh, because the Xbox Series S and the Series X use exactly the same HDMI circuit, they've got this exact chip. Um, and I've got these exact components here. This is some sort of filter, I don't know what.
but these are incredibly, incredibly weak. So just be really careful probing around here. Um, so if you're going to test for continuity from uh, across the filters, just go. Uh, well, if I can ever get it in focus, let me just. There you go. Uh, yeah. So if you want to test for continuity, don't probe on these filters. Go from this side of the chip like that and then go up to the port it's a little bit tricky but just go up to the port and then test there and then that should be yeah 0 0.000 so that's that's dead short which means we've got continuity um but what i'm going to be probing is i'm going to be probing the um what do you call it i've just knocked the uh, shield off to the ssd I'm going to be probing these, all of these lines, just to read, just to read the diode reading on uh, on all of these pins. So I want to see what diode reading we've got. So these middle ones here. So what you've got is you've got the HDMI chip, and then you've got these little filter things, and it goes up to these, all of these pins here, and these first. 12 pins are four lots of differential pairs and these carry the data signals from the APU to the HDMI port so whatever reading we get here so 0 0.748 we should be getting exactly the same reading on all of these differential pairs you've got a, you've got a positive and negative and then in the middle of that is a redundant ground so that 0 0.748 we should see on every single one of these first 12 pins apart from the grounds. Or, well, it should be very, very negligible. So it should be very close to each other. Whoops. I think a lot of these pins are actually weak. Right, that's not even connected. In fact, half of these pins are not... Yeah, half of these pins are not connected. Someone did mention that in chat. So I'm gonna to have to re-solder these. So that one's connected because he's coming up open he's coming up with the reading. That one's not connected. Yeah. So half these pins are not connected. But that's not gonna stop it from um that's not gonna stop it from pairing on because basically the HDMI port is literally just a conduit. It's an interface. There's nothing. There's no logic inside the HDMI port at all, and there's no way for the console to know that there's no HDMI port there. Like you could take this HDMI port off, and it should still turn on. So let's just get some diode readings on some more of these. So 0 0.646. That's fine. So pin number 19 is hot plug detect or 5 volt return. And pin number 18 is 5 volt out. So you get 5 volts which goes out to the HDMI port. Or rather to the HDMI cable. That tells the TV that there's a source there. And then the TV will send 5 volts back through 5 volt return. And that will tell the console that the TV is there. So these two basically talk to the TV and the console. Uh, number 17 is a ground. I can't remember what number 16 is. But that's 0.625, so that's about about right. Same as number 15, 0.610, that's fine. No point, uh, pin number 14 is a no connect. So pin number 14 on any HDMI port shouldn't be used. Um, so that should always be open line. Pin number 13, 647. Okay, yeah, so... Yeah, that's fine. How does the HDMI port relate to the pair on, pair off? Um, I'll get to that in a minute. Um, I do need to resolder this, but the HDMI port itself, unless there's bridged pins, wouldn't cause beep on beep off. It wouldn't cause no pair or beep on beep off, unless you've got a short somewhere on the port. If you've got a short somewhere, then it would, but if there's no port there, then it would not affect the state of power. It wouldn't affect power at all. Um, but if it's what I think it is, then it is technically linked. 
to the HDMI port. There's a little 5 volt regulator on the back and the, the only other two Xbox Series X's that I've worked on um, that regulator has been bad. Once it's actually shown up as visibly bad, once it's not. So whether or not it will this time, I don't know, but I'll find that out in a minute. I'm just going to touch these pins up while I'm here. But this isn't to try and restore the power. This is literally just to clean up shoddy soldering work. I'm not really worried about bridges for now. I just want to get a little bit of solder on each pin. And then I can just drag this solder across. Whoops. Went a bit too far there. So yeah, basically I'm just going to touch this up just because I know it's not soldered. So either way, if I get this working, this has got to be done. So while I'm in the area, I may as well do it. There we go. There we go. So yeah, while I'm in the area, I might as well just solder that port properly so it's actually soldered. So usually I'll be waiting until Monday to do these consoles in this batch. But I've got to be back in London on Thursday this week. Or rather next week. So I've got no choice but to get them done as quickly as I possibly can. Which means a lot of work in the next few days. But I do get to rest after the 23rd. So that's a good thing, I suppose. Alright, so to clean that up. I always clean up my mess. I don't agree with leaving flux on the board. Even though that was no clean flux, I don't know what flux he uses. He uses um, MG chemicals. I still don't agree with leaving flux on the board. Right, so I'm going to... Just make sure I've got no shorts on these pins again, just because I've been soldering in the area. And I'm going to test these differential pairs again. It's just me being a little bit too close with the probes. Oh, 0.5mm pitch ain't really a lot to go on. Yeah, that's fine. No bridges. And now, I'm going to just make sure that every single pin is soldered. I'm going to give them a nudge. So if I give them a nudge and they don't move, then I know that they're soldered. Yep, and that's how you solder a proper HDMI port. Just saying. That's how you solder a HDMI port. Right, so... <clears throat> back in diode mode. So now that the pins are connected, I can test for diode readings on each pin. And we should get around about the same on each one. 0.748, yeah. 0.747. So we should get very close, if not exact, on each one. 
jumping around, but yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, so that, that's all present and correct. Let's just make sure we don't have a short on any of them, so 0.9 volt, yeah, that's fine. Just making sure I don't have a short between each differential pair. We don't obviously don't want a short between positive and negative because that would potentially cause a beep on beep off. And if that was the case, then it would be the retimer at fault. Yeah, okay, so we've got no shorts there. So I could use beep mode, but diode mode's easier. All right, so that's good. That's fine. Um, apparently this turned on before the HDMI port was changed. <coughs> so, let's have a look on the back of the board a sec. Um, probably not enough solder on these, but that being said, that's not going to cause an issue either. Or at least it's not going to cause... A beep on beep off. So the 5 volt regulator that I'm referring to, the one that's usually the cause, is this one here. Let me just get this in focus. It's this one just here, U82. So that's upside down, well the writing's upside down, but U82 is what I've found both times that I've worked on one of these to be the cause of the beep on beep off. So in diode mode, 0.2. 459, I think that's ground, yeah. 0.572. I'm looking at the screen here, that's why I'm going so close. 0.368, that might be a little bit low. So that one there, I think that's a little bit low, to be honest. 0.368. For a 5 volt line, that's a little bit low. <laughs> Um, or at least I would imagine it is. Let me just see if I've got one of these on an Xbox One S board. So I'm looking for one on an Xbox One S board, but I know I can get one off an Xbox One um, original board. Because I don't actually know where to get the chip from. But I know there's one on an Xbox One original board, so I'm just going to hunt around... Uh, U5D3, I think that's a 5 volt line. I'm looking at a donor board at the minute, by the way. I'm pretty sure that's a 5 volt line. So, I've found one similar, just there. Ah, no, it's not, it's a 3 volt test line. It's a 3.3 volt line. Um, well, actually, it might not be, because it's on this side. Uh, hmm. I don't actually know. There's one just there. And that could be the one that I'm looking for. But there is a 3.3 volt test point right next to it, so that could be a 3 volt reg. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think it's probably best for me to go and get an Xbox One OG board. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab an Xbox One OG board. But I do need to go and grab one because I haven't got any in the workshop. I am slowly moving stuff backwards and forwards. So I know I keep... I know I keep moving backwards and forwards, but... Yeah, I am slowly getting stuff in. <laughs> I might have let you stay. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh... What's the blue residue? Uh, that would be viscous paste, um, which is basically like a 
a different type of thermal compound. Needs to keep the RAM and stuff cool. Yeah, so I'm going to be... I'm just going to run and get a couple of Xbox One OG boards. And, uh, and then I'll be back. Two minutes.
Right, I'm back. Finally. I've just grabbed about 10 boards. Yeah, I've got about 10 boards, roughly. So over Christmas, because I'm taking a week off over Christmas, I'm going to use that time to just move everything else out of the old workshop. Oh, God, I'm knocking now. Yeah, I'm going to move everything else out of the old workshop and into the loft. And that way then I can get easy access to everything I need again, because at the minute the workflow process is just not smooth. Right, so if we look at the Xbox One OG board, right around by the Ethernet, literally right by the Ethernet port, and hang on, let me get that in focus. Yep, yeah, there we go. So, right by the Ethernet port, so there's your Ethernet. Uh, if you go down, you've got the Ethernet controller, uh, the Realtek Ethernet controller, and then if you go across, you've got U4B5, and that is the same, well, the same, it's not the same regulator, but it's the same rating as the regulator on the Xbox Series X. So, I'm going to get this off here. Now a hot air at 480. Get it off as quick as I can. There's a fairly thick trace around here, so it took up a lot of heat. And I hope Nick knows that when I'm on his podcast on Sunday, I'm going to troll the life out of him. Because he keeps trolling me. Can someone type in explanation point Nick N-I-C-C -C, in the chat and then if everyone can go check out Nick's Nick's podcast channel, I'll be on there Sunday. What's the temperature? I've got it set to 480, mate. It's a really thick trace. Right, so there's the there's the voltage reg, the same one that's on the um, Series X board. So I'm going to pop that to one side, and then I'm going to get this one off. You do need to be careful here, though, because the this voltage regulator is right by the ESD boost I see, so you need to be careful. Cheers, Keith. Thanks, mate. And Danny, thank you. Yeah, I'm going to troll the life out of Nick on uh, on Sunday. Yeah, so if everyone got there's a link in the chat. Um, if everyone got, wants to go and check out Nick's channel. Um, me, along with two other people, I'm not sure if Nick wants me to tell people who it is, but me, along with two other people, is going to be on his podcast on Sunday. Right, so, I've, you, you may notice I've turned this board around, and that's just to make it easier to get this off. So, yeah, you do want to be careful of that. ESD boost IC because it is a BGA chip and you can't buy them. It's the same one that's on the Xbox One X, but you cannot buy that chip. You can't buy it anywhere. I should have probably added some lead solder to this just to get it off get it off quicker. But these are some super thick traces, so it does take a while.
So even even on the Series X, it takes quite a while. I mean, my temperature is at 418. I have calibrated it. I'm going to add some of Eddie's solder because that's, that's taking a little bit too long for my liking. Yeah, I have calibrated my hot air. It's a brand new station and I've calibrated it properly. Um, and it still takes forever. Not really bothered about the bridge. Look under that IC, might be a model number. Um, no, there's not, unfortunately there's not. I'm assuming you mean the ESD IC. Um, unfortunately there's not, mate. Um, ST Micron won't sell them to anyone. They'll sell the ones for the Xbox One X. But you can get the ones for the One S, but you can't get the ones for the One X. See, for that trace there, what takes forever. There you go. So yeah, add a bit, add a bit of leady solder and it'll come off. Right. I need to give Nick a shout out on a video on an actual video so we can get his channel up a little bit. I think I'm gonna do that next week. Let's just replace our solder there. And I'll take my donor component. I'm just going to tack it down. And technically, I don't need to use hot air, but I do want it. I do want it flat to the board. So I'd rather use hot air. It's not going to take as long anyway. Now I've got leaded solder on there. Damn it. Oh shit. You motherfucker. Now I've got to figure out where it went. There. It's because there's no solder on the ground leg. That's what it is.
pain in the arse thing. It's because I have to hold the chip on and on all the nozzle and angle as well. It's a pain in the backside. So I've got to hold the nozzle and angle to stop it from heating that chip up. Obviously, I only want to heat that transistor up or regulator, whatever it is. So I have to be careful and hold it on an angle to stop me from overheating the ESD IC. That are nice and clean. Damn it, my friggin' battery's dead. Multimeter battery be dead. That's always nice, isn't it? Well, bear with me a sec. And I shall put the battery on charge. There we go. Right, let's get a diode reading now, shall we? What have we got on that pin there? Oh, that's Holmes mode, damn it. Zero point five oh seven. Oh, that is still three three five. Okay, well, that might be right then. Four one five. Middle one's ground. Whoops. That wasn't meant to happen. Four eight eight. All right. Well, that's reading the same as it was before, so that might not be the cause. Um, but the last time. The last time this did go bad, in the last repair I did on this, the beep on beep off from a couple of weeks ago, though I haven't got around to editing yet, um, this was reading bad, this was reading fine, yet it was still to blame. I can't, I can't sleep knowing that the... Um, That, that one joint's bad. There we go. Nice and shiny. <laughs> that would have trolled me. Yeah, so even though it was reading good last time, it, yes, I changed that and it fixed the no power issue. Uh, there's beep on beep off. I wasn't changing it willy nilly, I was changing it based on experience. Um, based on what caused it last time. But, you know, it could, could still be the same thing. So I am going to try it now. There we go, nice and clean. Nice and clean. Let's dry that off. Let's get rid of the IPA. IPA is not going to hurt the board, but I like to leave my boards nice and clean. And it's almost like no one's ever there. Except the fact that this, sh this shiny lead is soldered better than all of the rest of the solder on the board. Right, I'm going to get it back together and give it a test. Or rather, I'm going to get it back together enough to test it. Certainly not putting it all back together. That's for certain. That's for damn sure. Right, well, this is fresh thermal paste, so I'm just going to add some to it. It is fresh MX4 from yesterday, so it's fine. 
it's absolutely fine. There we go. Yeah, so I'm not putting these fully back together. Not until I know it works. Same rules apply with this though. Even pressure. There's a bridge U82. Uh, where was U82? On the back of the board? Let me double check. See, even when you just drop this back down, you haven't even put any pressure on it. Look, it just... It's still got a fair bit of suction there. U82. No, there's definitely no bridge. Definitely no bridge there, mate. Thanks anyway, though. But yeah, there's no bridge. Right. Let's get it back together then. Shall we? Yeah, I always double check. Yeah, if someone says something in chat, I always double check. Stop trying to track me. Go away. Stupid camera. That's the annoying thing about this camera. But until I get my other one fixed, I have no choice. Well, I have. And I'll be taking care of that next month. The problem is... With Christmas, I just can't afford it. Just can't afford to buy a camera right now. Bear in mind, my camera's a 4K, so the best one I can get for the money is going to be the DSC HX95. And that's... Uh, right, this can be screwed down fully now. Uh, the DSC HX95 is 420 quid, so... I'm going to buy one next month. Uh, actually, I might buy it because I haven't been paid off YouTube this month yet, so I might buy it when YouTube pay me because I am done for Christmas. Um, and YouTube have got to pay me on the 24th, so I might uh, I might opt to. So, one thing I'm going to check before I do decide to because this has been off, this has. I'm just going to make sure that this is in fully. Actually, no, I shouldn't because I want to confirm whether or not it's still going to beep on, beep off. Um, yeah, I want to confirm whether it's got to beep on, beep off. So, Or rather, whether that fixes the issue. So I shouldn't mess with the SSD, really. Yeah, so I need to buy a new camera, but at the minute, I'm spent out. Christmas is bloody expensive. Hang on, £100 for a PS5, do you think? <laughs> £100 
hundred pound for a PS five. Are you mad? Who said I've only got one PS five? Mr. Danny. Who said I've only got one PS five, Danny? I think you've been misled. <laughs> I think Danny might have been a little bit misled because I haven't got one PS5 for the kids for Christmas. I've got two. <laughs> so I think Danny's been a little bit misled. Oh dear. Yeah, I've got two, mate, yeah. Yeah, they've got one each. I bought uh, Kevin Civil, um, some of you know him from the chat. Uh, he's a customer slash friend slash knobhead, but he did sell me a PS5 for 375 quid. Yeah, stop trying to track me. Go away. Thank you. <laughs> Um, yeah, anyway. Anyway. Yeah, I got two PS5s. Um, 375 for the um, second one. So, yeah, I mean, fair enough. I've still only paid 475 quid for two PS5s. I have got to get some controllers, though. So, I'm not technically done for Christmas. I've got to buy two PS5 controllers. Which I might... Order off Amazon instead. Either Amazon or I might just go to CEX because CEX actually give a better warranty. So I'll probably end up just going to CEX. So I've got to buy two PS5 controllers and then I'm done. Let me rip off on eBay. I agree. Dad, I want a PS5. <laughs> no, this is an Xbox Series X, mate. Right, so I'm not I'm not gonna screw anything down on this, I just wanna see if it's gonna turn on or not. So I'm gonna put it back together enough for testing. And that is literally it. Damn it, well it might help if I actually put this back together properly. That might help. But yeah, I've got the 4K TV for them as well, don't forget. That cost me 300 and... No, 200... 260 quid? It was either 260 or 360. Can't remember. Two hundred and sixty. I'm sure it was. CEX and Mad for two year warranty on controllers. Oh yeah, I'm, that's what I mean. Like I ain't because I ain't taking them controllers apart. Must be crazy. No, I ain't taking them PS5 controllers apart. Hell no. Well, I'm gonna pop a couple of screws in this just to keep it all together. So I'll pop the corner screws in. Obviously, I don't want it falling out. So I'm gonna pop a few screws in. Just to hold everything down. What's the guarantee on PS5 if you buy second hand and it still has a sticker on it? Can you get it repaired for free or do you have to buy it from new with receipt? Well, technically, technically Sony can't refuse a warranty. I don't understand where people are getting that from, where Sony are refusing warranty. If you fight them, they would have no choice. They are the manufacturer. And it's a 12-month manufacturer warranty. But I don't understand why people think that they don't get a 12-month warranty just because they bought it off scalpers. Sony don't ask for As far as I'm aware, Sony don't ask for receipts. As far as I know. You did get the TV for the kids. I did, mate, yeah. 
I'll show you in a sec. I'll grab it in a sec. But yeah, at the minute, I'm fucking skint. Uh, I, the TV, they ended up refunding it, Nick. Um, and it is a fucked up thing. They ended up refunding it. Let me grab it and I'll show you. Uh, it's got to come up here anyway. It's literally down just underneath the loft hatch. I'll just grab it. I'll, I'll be quiet for a second because the baby will hear me. Bear with me a sec. I'll just grab the TV. So yeah, as you can probably imagine now, I've got the TV. <laughs> um, yeah, basically what happened was, Sarah found Amazon, on Friday, and they said, this was last Friday, so I found Amazon on Friday, and they said, oh yeah, we're not unblocking the account, but we'll send you a one-time passcode. Saturday, they said the same. All this time, they were trying to deliver it. Sunday, they said the same. Um, and then on Monday, they unblocked the account, but refunded the transaction. Um, so they unblocked the account, but they refunded the transaction, so I had to wait for it to go back in. It went back in at like 8 o'clock on Monday, I think it was. It was either Monday or Tuesday, I'm sure it was Monday. I had to wait for the money to go back in, and then they left the account unblocked. I ordered it. I ordered the TV again, thinking, yeah, fine, they've left the, they've left the account alone. They're not going to ban me. They delivered the TV, and then blocked the account again. But when they delivered the TV the second time, they didn't want a one-time passcode. Work that out. They didn't want a one-time passcode. I honestly don't understand it. Still scamming Amazon. <laughs> I genuinely don't understand it, honestly. It's really weird. But yeah, um, the TV is... If I can get it, the TV is there. So yeah, it's just TCL 43 inch, like 260 quid I think it was. I'm sure it was 260. But yeah, there's the TV. So I have got it now. So at least the kids have got their TV. Uh, so that's going on their wall. Uh, that's going to go on their wall. And then um, I'm going to bring their Xbox Series S consoles up. Um, and yes, I know I need to sweep up in here. Oh well. I'm going to bring their Xbox Series S consoles up and their monitors. I'm going to buy them both one of these grey tables from IKEA on Monday. Um, so I'm going to buy them both one of these because basically uh, their bedroom their bedroom is this side of me, so in front of me now. Um, and they've got, um, well, every single bedroom has actually got a fireplace, um, so like a chimney breast. Every bedroom, it's got, it's got double chimney. So I'm going to put one either side of the chimney breast, one table either side, and then the TV in the middle. And then they'll have the PS5 and the TV, uh, the PS5 and the X Xbox Series S, both on their desk, and then the TV to do what they want. They can either play the consoles on it or... Uh, I'll probably give it a HDMI splitter and just connect them both up to that, so as they can connect both PS5s up to the TV um, and then just switch between them if, depending on which one's playing it on the TV at the time uh, and then just make them take it in turns because I've only got room for one big TV in their bedroom anyway so yeah um, I haven't got any room for any more to have stairs it's, it's just a ladder mate at least the kids will love it for two minutes yeah I think he makes a running Amazon Yeah. It denied a warranty on Oculus headset. It was condensation from wearing it, not accidental water damage. Jesus Christ. Well, surely that should be down to the manufacturer, though, right? Because, hang on, then again, was it, it? That depends, actually. That's a tough one, because if it's not advertised as liquid resistant, then you might be able to look on it, to be honest, unfortunately.
Right, so I'm going to get this. Every room has a chimney. That's the most British thing I ever I ever heard. <laughs> but it, it, no, there's a chimney breast on every in every room. Like there's a chimney breast in my room, in the kids' room, and in the both because we've got two living rooms, uh, two lounges as uh, most people call it. We've got two two living rooms, and they both got they've both got chimney breasts as well. It's uh, it's just weird layout houses, like, really weird layout. But that being said, I've only got room for one forty-three inch TV. So if I get like a if I get a HDMI splitter, then you know that can both take it in turns playing the um, playing on the big playing on the big TV. But we've got we've got multi room on Virgin Media. We've got multi-room, but we don't really use the Virgin TV box that's in our bedroom at all. Like, we don't use the TV box at all. We watch Netflix and we've got a smart... Well, we had a smart TV. Cody smashed it. Yeah, go figure. Um, yeah. We had a TV till last week. It's actually literally behind me there. I'm going to show you all a hack one of the days. Um, so it's literally... The TV that Cody smashed up is literally... Right behind me, there. Cody put something through it and smashed the screen. It's not worth fixing the screen. They're not worth fixing. So I'm going to show you what a hack one of the days. I'm going to show you how to get a badass softbox light for, you know, your workshop or, well, just a badass LED light for your workshop or for a YouTube studio or whatever, out of a busted TV and make use of it. But it's not worth actually fixing the TV because screens are more expensive than the TVs which kind of sucks I don't like my spanner <laughs> to who did you change paste yes I just heard breast oh god transfer your spanner to who why do you not want a spanner mate is it because you realize that I can, I can still ban you <laughs> Uh. Oh, cheers for that, George. Prick. Called it user damage and wanted eight hundred dollars for the repair. Jesus Christ. Gonna say it's a good backlight. Yeah. Well, that's what I mean. Um, yeah, if you take the screen out of it and just basically you can mount it to your ceiling or whatever, and you've you've got yourself a really good LED, really bright LED light. Really bright LED light, basically for, for repurposing the TV. So I'm going to be repurposing that TV as a studio light. I'm, like, I'm not even joking when I say I'm a cheapskate. So I'm glad the kids got the stuff, mate. Yeah, thank you, mate. I'm glad as well, to be honest. Um, because now it means that well, they've got what they wanted for Christmas, so, you know, I mean, I'm super happy about that. I really am. Because they've got what they wanted. Well, they've got a phone as well, bear in mind, they've got brand new phones each. They're not expensive phones, the phones cost under quid, it's um, an Oppo. I think Oppo got bought out by LG recently, but I have personally tried Oppo phones and they are pretty good. So, they've both got a brand new phone. I mean, Ethan at the minute has got an S9, um, a Samsung S9, and Regan's got a... Um, nothing, actually. Yeah, Regan's got nothing because he had an S9 for Christmas last year and he got water damage two weeks after he had it. And he didn't tell me until it was too late and the entire board went rusty. So, the entire board just got through in the bin. And I was just like, yeah, you can fuck right off. I ain't fixing that. And he never got it replaced, so he's had no phone since two weeks after Christmas. But why should I replace it? Like he's, he, he had to learn a lesson. Maybe this year he'll look after it. It's in a cheap bird you've had in your car. <laughs> I told you not to say anything about that. Sarah's going to find out now. Prick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Right. So I'm just going to literally putting these back together. I've got to take these back apart again, but I can do that tomorrow morning. Um, 
I just want to put it back together enough just to test it. Actually, I may as well put it back together tonight because I can just talk to you guys a bit more then as well. Well, I would if I could get the fan to go in properly. So lining that looks a little bit tricky sometimes. Right. It's the moment of truth. It's very nice, that's why she uses a buzzer. <laughs> it's the moment of truth. Is it going to work? Let's fucking go. That's what I'm talking about right there. That's how we do it. That's how we roll. That's how we get down. And that's how we fix it. Boom. <laughs> Five volt leg. Every time. Five volt leg. Every time. Let's just make sure we get a display, shall we? Oh, man. I love it. Five volt leg. Every time. Make sure I get a display and then uh, <coughs> and then I'm gonna call it good. Right. Oh, we might not get a display. I'm not sure why it keeps failing, mate. Waterlogged PS4 still on bench to be looked at. Hope it fires up like the Xbox just now. Ouch. We might not get a display, guys. Unless it's just because it's not displaying in... Unless it's just because it's not picking up in 4K on this cheap capture card. I couldn't have another Elgato capture card if I wanted to. Let me try it on the TV. It's not displaying. Right, let me try it on a dedicated TV cable. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get that off the splitter. I'm gonna plug it directly into the TV. Actually, that is directly into the TV. I think. Hang on. Easy. I don't even know what cables I've got plugged into what now. To be honest. Um, right. It might be bad news on this. The HDMI encoder might have gone. I'm going to plug this straight into an Elgato. Straight into one of my Elgatos. How's that? Camera might freeze because I don't know which Elgato I've just unplugged. Right. 
Right, so it's a microscope I've unplugged. Okay. Well, let's see if the secondary capture card picks up a display. No, it does not. We have no display. That's bad news. That's very bad news. Because you can't buy the encoders. You cannot buy the encoders for these. Yeah, I'm getting no display on that. <clears throat> no display at all. Right, let's have a look at... Let's see if he's on the t See if he's picking up on the TV. Oh, there we go. Ah, four, 640 by 480. That's why he's not picking up. Boom. All right. Boom. 640 by 480. That's why it's not picking up. Let me just... Uh, just raise up this um, camera. That's crashed, so I'll have to sort that in a second. It's frozen for a second. Bear with me. But I have got 640 by 480 on the TV. Which is, of course, more important than getting it working on a capture card. I'd rather get it working on a TV than a capture card anyway. So let me just re-enable that camera. And boom. Boom. Now I'm happy. When get into 4K, yep, I will be now, mate. Now I'm happy because the encoder's not dead. Right, front USB. So, bear with me a second. I'm just going to sign out of the account. So it doesn't show any name. And then I'll lift the camera up so you can see a full screen of it. There's wires and everything in the way, but, you know, what can you do? That's the best I can give you, because it's not displaying on the capture card, but the TV is more important anyway. Um, where's my settings? There. Four K, four K, boom. That's what I'm talking about. That's more like it. Oh yes, boom. Right, let's just test the disc. No disc in there. Great. Thank you, guys. But yeah, uh. This will get put back together tomorrow anyway, so... Right. Red Dead. I can't remember which way the disc sits in this. Don't think it's that way. Is it going to load? Is 
Is it going to load? I might need to connect to the internet just for it to show up on the front screen. Unless I've got the disc the wrong way around. I don't think it works. We might need to replace a disk drive. We might need to replace a disk drive on this. It's spinning. It's not showing up. Right, I'm going to have to sign in. Whoops. Oh, it comes up with it comes up with Paul F anyway, so that's fine. Uh, yeah, it's not installed in that game. Not installed in that game. Let's try Destiny. That one's loading better. There we go. Yeah. There we go. It's working. Must be something wrong with that disc. All right. Well, that's fine by me. That's good enough for me. Shut it down. I'll give it a full test tomorrow. But, uh, yeah. That's good for me. I'm happy with that. More than happy with that. Cool. That works for me. Possibly could be a storage space, yeah. Yeah, so... 5 volt reg once again. Um, that's the third time. That's the third beep on beep off I've had on uh, Series X. And every single time it's, it's going to be the um, 5 volt reg. So, yeah. That specific chip. Where did I put my donor board? I had a donor board somewhere. Uh, it's down here. So, that specific chip I took off that board. Literally just there by the Ethernet port. That's where I took that off. Um, and it works absolutely perfectly every time. So this board revision is the X8958570 Rev B. And the reason that's important is because there are different boards that have got different chips. Um, and this is the only revision board that that works on so you do need to make you do need to make sure it's that but it's right by the uh power connector for the hard drive as well uh, i think it's actually the, i think it actually uses the power connector for the hard drive or rather the regulator for the hard drive uh but yeah as far as i know it's that, that's the only one um actually that could be the same regulator as well i'll have to confirm that one of the days uh but that could be the same one just by the hdmi output port um, but yeah, nice easy fix. 2am here a machine, yep. But yeah, I'm going to leave it there for tonight, guys. Like, like everybody said, it is 2am. So, so I will eat a mince pie. And I'll bid you all farewell. I'm sure I will be streaming tomorrow. But uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. Come on, go away. Come on.